Hey, hi y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I came to do a quick little video. I almost forgot about y'all. I ain't even alive. But day 16, we here we made it had past the halfway point. And today, see, one thing I'm learning to do is, like I've been telling y'all the past few videos, I'm learning to trust God. I've been wanting to do vlogs, but I, d I just feel like that's just not the way for me. The, the more I go with these videos, because if you see, they started off as vlogs and now they're getting to me just doing these sit down talk videos. Um, <clears throat> and so, I forgot what I was going to say. My ADHD, god damn. But anyway, to my point of this video. So, I was on TikTok. Oh, that's what I was going to say. These thoughts just come to me and sometimes it's uh, inspired by something during the day that I've learned or I got more clarity on. Sorry if y'all hear my family talking in the background. Them three love basketball, so that's their thing they do together. They all love the Lakers, so sorry. Actually, I'm going to close my door and be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah, I get inspired by something i've learned in the, during the day i get inspired by or whatever and so just now i had sent this tiktok that i saw to sisters <laughs> sent it to my sisters and um it made me think about because this is what it said hopefully it's still up there the journal okay it says and Y'all, I'm sorry that I just be jumping all over the place. So, before I get into that, it take it took me back to therapy. And um, I was talking about just the stuff that I have been through and all that stuff. And um, this was actually my first therapist. I've actually had two. So, my first therapist before I had to switch, um, she was saying, she was like, well you got to think of it this way like when you are in those situations if you think about those situations what would you say to your sister or what would you say to your daughter in those situations and I was like well I never thought of it that way and for me it it speaks volumes because I am the type of person that I will not take my own advice <laughs> I have to learn the hard way for whatever reason but I can give you the most amazing advice. I can help you sit down and solve your problems like that. Like, I can figure it out for you. I can't figure it out for me. Or, or I couldn't. I'm learning to now. So I'm learning to rephrase my speaking too. So that's what brings me to this video as I've seen this post, right? And it says, what would you say to your sister on the days she's being hard on herself and it says every day is not an opportunity to improve yourself some days are just there for you to accept yourself and look at the clouds this too is growth this too is rising just existing is enough on some days the flowers do it every day and make the world more beautiful just by being here so do you and that was by nikita gill because i don't want to get nobody the credits <laughs> um nikita gill poetry and this is something I have spoken about before, not on my YouTube, but I believe I have spoken about it plenty of times when I go live on Facebook, like literally for the past like four years, I've been like pushing this into um, my, I don't know what to call them, my clients, my, my tribe, my family, um, that I've created over there on Facebook. I've been drilling that into their heads every time I go live. Every time I'm like, every once in a while I'm posting it. Like I will drill that into their heads. And while doing that, I am also simultaneously drilling into my own, right? Because I feel like especially for my generation, we were taught that we had to go, go, go. Like, you don't have time to rest. What are you resting for? You know, if if you rest, then that means you need something to do. And um, honestly, that wasn't fair to us because now we have become adults who feel like if we're resting, we're not doing enough. Um, if we are taking a break or just 
you know not being productive like we need to find something to do or we're being lazy and it's not the case sometimes you just existing is okay and I also feel that when it comes to healing when it comes to healing we think that this is an everyday thing that we got to do like oh i gotta work on myself i gotta work on myself i gotta work on myself oh here's another opportunity i gotta work on myself i gotta work on myself it gets exhausting because you're thinking you have to do it constantly 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 and you will overwhelm yourself you do not have to work on yourself every day you don't have to work on yourself every single day for the rest of your goddamn life because the one thing i want you to understand about healing is that it is not a we're done we're done wipe our hands with it you're always gonna have to have some level of healing you're always gonna have to work through some things you can heal from major traumas that you've been through but 20 years from now be triggered and maybe have the same reaction and be like Whew. oh okay okay and it doesn't mean that you're not healed from it but it's it's always in process you're 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 learning okay and as you step into new environments you're gonna have new obstacles you're gonna have new challenges you're gonna have new things that you're working through you're gonna have new situations that you have to deal with and I, I think we just need to change the narrative of what healing is it is like you are not a project you don't need to be fixed I don't think you heard me like you're not a project and you don't need to be fixed there's nothing broken about you you're not broken okay you're not broken at all you don't need no fixing you don't need no just be some days allow yourself to be some days allow yourself to exist some days one day wake up and just be like you know what today today i just want to have a day of literal nothingness and it doesn't always mean you do absolutely nothing it could be i don't want to fucking be responsible today i don't want to be responsible today i don't want to be responsible for anyone else but myself today so today I'm just going to go get my nails done. I'm going to go get my hair done. I'm going to go sit on the beach and watch the sunset. I am going to go to the fucking park and swing on the swings because that's what I want to fucking do. Like, allow yourself to just be here and exist. To experience the world. To experience your hometown. Some of us haven't even been able to experience our own place that we've lived our whole life. I know for a fact that I've seen a lot in Baltimore, <laughs> Baltimore, I've seen a lot in Baltimore, but I haven't seen a lot in Merlin. So I just need to explore a little more. I would love to do that. Like I know a lot about my home state, but um i really want to step outside of my comfort zone and explore just different events in different counties and different parts of the state that i've never even thought to do before because baltimore all day <laughs> like that's just i just knew what i knew and i just did that and i just want to do more and i want to i want my even though we do a lot with our kids i want my kids to experience more and i don't want my life to just be all healing and 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 working through shit and journaling and all of that i want to be experiencing too so don't be hard on yourself all the time like really take time out to live your life step out of your comfort zone and just be like take that pressure off of yourself that you feel like you have to accomplish something you're accomplishing it you're accomplishing it even when even when you don't feel like you're accomplishing it you're accomplishing it look how far you've come 
don't take that away from yourself ever even if you feel like going, you're going backwards well you had to go forward to go backwards right you did something it may have not have turned out the way you wanted it to but stop thinking of, of it as a failure and understand that God is redirecting you what did you miss when you really step back out of your feelings and look at the situation what can you take from that that is going to propel you forward you know so that's all I got to say today and I'm sorry if that was all over the place I'm probably gonna say that every video I swear I am but sometimes it my brain just be all over the place I'm trying to get more organized y'all I really am but I ain't gonna lie my notepad is packed away in a box like the bottom of the box so we can get better but thank you guys for listening um don't be hard on yourself I love y'all um peace out I gotta come up with like an outro and an intro because y'all deserve that okay <laughs> Bye.